Welcome back to Voice Physical Media Rant. I'm Vanessa. And I am Charles, and uh, welcome to What's New in the World of Physical Media, episode number seven. And we are back this week with <clears throat> a ton of stuff. Yes. Not really. But uh, <laughs> we do have some announcements, some rumors. Mm -hmm. I must very light this week, thank God. Big week next week because mm -hmm. we got uh, standard vinegar coming out. And you yeah. know, you know how vinegar. Yeah. But uh, before we even get started on this video, you need to like, comment, keep subscribing. We got some new yeah. subscribers lately, and we so definitely ap appreciate your support. Mm -hmm. I hope you all keep supporting. We know this channel is very different from everybody else, but that's the way we want it. And that's why you like us. Yeah. We, we don't want to be like everybody else, but mm -hmm. that's just complete boring. And we don't want to get on here and be the ones that complain like a lot of the other ones do. Mm -hmm. We want to be different. We might be a little bit more uh, Crazy. Me messed up <laughs> in with some of the shit we say, but uh, I assume that's why you like us. Mm -hmm. Plus, we discuss vinyl. We discuss music. We're soon going to be discussing some video games yes. and whatnot. So I think it's some good video games coming out. Right. Well, we can always talk about the stuff that we have. Yeah, true. <laughs> but uh, once again, before we get going, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, time to begin. What's new in the world of physical media? Episode number seven. Mm -hmm. We're going to start out with some rumors. First, coming out of Kino Lorber is a movie called The Visitors from 1972. It's going to have a brand new 2K Master, no uh, official date. Mm -hmm. You know how they like to announce their stuff early, and then you, you get a date a couple months down the road, but be on the lookout for that. Next is a movie out in the theater at the moment. It's coming from Lionsgate. I don't think we're getting a still book for this one. I don't think so. Not so far, but uh, this has no release date yet, So, but uh, it's coming on Blu-ray only. It's a movie called Imaginary. It's the one with the killer bear. Blumhouse. I don't know how I feel about this one, but they're hit and miss. But right. On Amazon, I don't know why Amazon prices stuff so high in the beginning, but thirty nine ninety nine. But that's just a placeholder. Yes. So let us know if anybody's seen that movie, if it's worth seeing when it right. comes out. Now, this next movie is coming out. I have no interest whatsoever. No. But it's coming out of Studio Distribution Services, only on Blu-ray. I would have put it on DVD if I was them. I think it is coming on DVD, That's too. That's what it should have come on anyways. The American Society of Magical Negroes, which is a uh, Blu-ray release on Amazon for $34.98. No release date. I could give a shit if this gets a release date. But, yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Moving on to the next one. Let us know if you're excited. If you are, I feel bad for you. Next up, we're going to have some uh, better announcements. We don't want to discuss something that's not really that yep. big of a deal. Next up, uh, only on Mondo Macabre. It's only available on March 28th to pre-order. You yep. can't pre-order until that day. Yep. And this is on Blu-ray. This movie would be more interesting to me than the one we just talked about. A movie called Sex Apocalypse from 1982. And we're not talking like the Vinegar Syndrome video that we did a while back. But yeah. I'll have her link that just if you want to be able to laugh. I did some uh, pretty good uh, yeah. <laughs> sexual jokes in that one. But uh, this is the two-disc limited edition Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. has two versions of the film, an S-rated and an H-rated. S is for softcore. H is for hardcore, so you can take that however you want it. Region 3 had the 2K restoration for the S-rated version from the original camera negative. Has a bonus Blu-ray, Blu which has the uncut 108-minute version, which is the hardcore version. Mm -hmm. It is only available from Mono Macabre that you can pre-order on the March 28th. It's only 2,000 units. Mm -hmm. The next one is also... Available to pre-order March 28th on is a movie called Fata Morgana from 1965. The region free Blu-ray, a 2K restoration from the original camera negative. And this one only has 1,500 units. Yep. Not many units. But we wanted to cover that. I know that's not the biggest movies to talk about, but there's somebody out there who might be interested in those. So we figured we'd cover them. And yep. So next up is uh, Imprint. Great company. Yes. We have The Prisoners, the complete series. It's nice we're still getting uh, TV series. Yes. 
This has a release date of June 5th. It's $119.95 Australian. Mm -hmm. And Australians have to pay a lot more. Yeah. Unfortunately. Until, Sorry. Uh, for us, U.S., we pay $78.72. Mm -hmm. And this is only available in imprint. It's a seven-disc set. 17 episodes digitally restored. Bonus disc with five episodes of Patrick Maguhan's previous series, Dangerous Man. And this is in 1080p HD presentation and restored 2K from original 35mm camera negative. And it also has a 120-page booklet. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. That is a lot. But we apologize to our uh, Australian audience yeah, that you guys got to gotta pay more. But one thing, uh, Australia, you have a great band over there and uh, in, yes, in, Heart, in Heart's Wake. I cannot express how great that band is. I wish they come over here more. I've seen them one time on the ABR Messenger Tour. Yep. God, they're, they're great. <coughs> I love their music. At least you all got a great band there. Yeah, here. I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have a great band like that over here that's, that stands out like yeah. them. Our closest to it probably be Silent Planet. But uh, Silent Planet is not on the level of In Heart's Wake, I don't no. think. But, yeah, thank you, Australia, for uh, showing us such a great band. Next up, we have uh, some Criterion announcements. These all come out in June. We have a array of titles in, in this, <laughs> this slate. Yes. But uh, prices are from Criterion at the moment, so eventually they'll be coming to uh, Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, obviously Amazon. First up is a movie called Blue Velvet from 1986. This one has a release date of June 25th. It's on 4K. $39.96. Very pricey. We have the next one up. is called The Underground Railroad from 2021. Has a release date also of June 25th. Has a Blu-ray for $63.95. Whew! That's pricey. Well, it's because it's a four disc set. Yeah, four disc That's set. Right. Damn. DVD is forty seven ninety six. Yeah, just like she said, a four disc set. Yeah. Like, damn. That's... Next up is uh, Victims of Sin from nineteen fifty one. Has a release date of June eighteenth. This is available on Blu ray for thirty one ninety six. Also has a DVD for twenty three ninety six. Mm -hmm. Next movie is Bound. This is from nineteen ninety six. And this has a uh, man. What was that girl's name? No crap! I can't. Let, let us uh, know if you remember this movie and what that girl's name is. It's on the top of my tongue, but I can't. I can't. I can't for the life of me think of what it is. We'll remember later. <laughs> but this has a release date of June eighteenth. It's available on four K, so it's getting a four K upgrade. Mm -hmm. Thirty nine ninety six Blu Ray for thirty one ninety six. Might as well go ahead and get the four K. Yep. Next title is from nineteen eighty two. Queerella. I don't know if I said that right, but yeah, that's what I take from it. I have no desire in this one. No. It just looks weird. Has a release date of June 11th. Available on Blu-ray for thirty-one seventy-six, and DVD for twenty-three ninety-six. Mm -hmm. To me, this would be the big title, even though it's done had a four K upgrade elsewhere. Yeah. This is a Terry Gilliam film starring Johnny Depp. Movie from 1998. It's uh, Fear and Loafing in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. I will probably pick this up on sale. I've never seen this movie. I've heard mixed reviews about this movie. It's weird. Of course, a lot of Gillian movies are kind of weird. But right. it has a release date of June 4th. So it's the first one to come out. It's available on 4K for $39.96. Criterion has a pretty good uh, slate. For, for June. Yep. Has a variety of, definitely a variety of. Uh, mixture of movies. Mixture of movies, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing that really stands out to me other than Fear and Loafing and Bound, if I can remember that damn woman's name. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> yesterday we got an announcement about, from Kino Lorber again. Mm -hmm. Good old Kino Lorber. Well, she had a movie called The Lawyer from 1970. Has a release date of May 14th. This is available on Blu-ray only. Sixteen dollars and fifty nine cents, mm -hmm. and that you can pre order that on the uh, Kino Lover website. Mm -hmm. Which, if I were you, I would be that would be the site I would always get their movies from because Amazon you got a week to two weeks turnaround before you even get yep. your movie or even the uh, update about your movie. Mm -hmm. 
But this, this was cool. This is a A24 exclusive. Mm -hmm. Only available on the A24 site. A movie called Pi. P.I. from 1998. It's a 4K available for $35. And the Blu-ray is available for 30 mm -hmm. I don't know too much about this. But uh, it's celebrating an anniversary. So let us know in the comments if anybody's excited for this movie. If this movie is actually worth seeing. Right. I've never heard of it. I ordered from uh, A24. Great experience. I mean, the movies always come in very nice. So, yep. But uh, let us know if uh, anybody's uh, heard or seen or interested. Right. Any of those. Let us know in the comments down below. Next up is a movie from back in the day, which I remember. I was in high school. <laughs> This is coming from Turbine Medium, which is a company from Germany, mm -hmm. which is good because I'm German. Yep. This is the first time actually, I guess, talking about Turbine. Yeah. Barbed Wire, starring uh, Ever So Sexy back in the day, Pamela Anderson. Mm -hmm. And can't nobody say she was not good looking no, back she in was, the day. No, she was really good looking yeah. back in the day. I'd have to question you. <laughs> this is only available at Turbine, and these, these are pretty sweet looking. Yes. You had two different slips over a still book, mm -hmm. which is very nice. Yes. Had a new 4K restoration from the original camera negative with HDR and Dolby Vision by Turbine. You have the unrated version included on the Blu-ray. That kind of sucks. You didn't get both, but no. a lot of times but that's how that works. At least you still get it, though. Yeah. It has an improved 5.1 and 2.0 mix in German and English. Mm -hmm. Two separate only available on their website, correct? Yes. Still book with slip A, $32.95 euro over here for the U.S. A little bit a little bit more expensive, not that much. $35.91. You also have another still book with slip B, mm -hmm. $32.95 euro, $35.91 U.S. These are very nice looking still books. Yes, they are. I may actually pick one of, the, one of these up. Yeah. I actually, I remember enjoying this movie. I've actually never seen it. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. Yeah. But I like both slips, so that's going to be kind of hard. It's the same still book underneath yes. the slips, but you have to really decide which slip you want. You want slip A or you want slip B, but they both look pretty sweet. It was a cool idea that they, yeah. what they did with that. That was a that was a out of the blue announcement. Mm -hmm. That's cool. They got uh, barbed wire. Let us know if you, uh, any Pamela Anderson fans in there. Yep. In the uh, comments and let us know if anybody has seen barbed wire from 1996 i've seen it back in the day i have not seen it since i remember liking it and it's not just for her but the movie itself was i mean she added some flavor to the movie obviously but but uh the movie overall wasn't that bad okay so i might actually end up picking this up just for this still book or any of the slips alone is worth the uh price tag right Next up, uh, movie come out of Universal. I don't know if anybody gives gives a damn, but uh, we don't. It had Half Baked Two, totally high. This is from 2023. Has a release date of April 16th on Blu-ray for 21.98. I didn't give a damn about the first one. No. I don't give a damn <laughs> about the second one. But uh, let us know if anybody's excited for this. I mean, it looks stupid, but anyway, we're gonna move on. Next coming up is a movie coming out of MPI Group. Mm -hmm. Coupe de Chunks is from a movie from 2023. Had the release date May 21st. Available on Blu-ray for $29.98 and a DVD for $24.98. Got some announcements coming out of Indicator. Mm -hmm. Available on these, all four of these available on Blu-ray. The first up is The Whole Truth from 1958. That's available June seventeenth on Indicator. It's nineteen dollars. You can't get this one on Amazon at the moment. You might be able to get it eventually. But Indicator, Maybe. because it is nineteen dollars, you are going to have to pay an import, import fee. Yeah. Just to give you guys a heads up. It's coming out of the UK. Mm -hmm. A movie from nineteen forty nine called Obsession. This is available June eighteenth. This one's available on Indicator for nineteen. Also available on Amazon for thirty six ninety nine at the moment. Hopefully that price drops. Right. Next up is the Shop at Sly Corner from nineteen forty seven. This is available June eighteenth. 
on Indicator for $19 and Amazon for $36.99. We have another Blu-ray called Tomorrow We Live. Also June 18th, this is a movie from 1942. Indicator for $19 and Amazon for $36.99. Yep. That's uh, four different announcements out of uh, Indicator. Another great label. Mm -hmm. But uh, we did a whole video on this. And we'll be linking that up corner to bottom somewhere on here. Yep, at the end of the video. It's the Southern releases. Mm -hmm. This coming out May 20th. Now, these are the standard releases. Yes. So, you won't get all the great stuff that you that you would get from when you order from Southern website right. itself. First up is the 4K of The Great Alligator for $44.95. The 4K of The Devil's Honey for $44.95. 4K of Kathy's Curse for $44.95. The 4K of Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker for $44.95. You also get a Blu-ray of Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker for $29.95. Those two have this same color, same cover on it. And you also finally get the 4K of the Cemetery Man standard for $44.95. And that's it for our it rumors for our, and announcements. Yep. Now to this week. Yep. Like I said, there's more rumors and announcement was than what's actually coming out. Coming out. So, mm -hmm. but uh, first up is the granddaddy. In my mind, <clears throat> we got the Shout Factory, Scream Factory releases coming this week, mm -hmm. and I cannot express enough. The first one is the Ring Collection. You need to pick this movie up if yes. you want to know why. We're going to link our review. We did an in-depth review of this movie, movies. Yeah. They were all free great. They look, oh man, they look, I'm not even going to go yeah. in, into it. Just and, go hit that yeah, link check the video. at the end. Trust me on this one. It was a great, I was not a fan of this movie, but the transfers on these were immaculate. Yeah. And uh, Scream Shout did a wonderful job on this. But we're getting, <coughs> sorry guys, the ring collection. All three Ring movies, Ring 1, Ring 2, and The Rings. Mm -hmm. The site, of course, if you order from uh, Screen Factory, has a 4K and exclusive poster. The poster is no longer available. Mm -hmm. So it's available in there for $75.99. And the 4K is available for $62.99 on, on Amazon. Amazon if you want to get it on Amazon where it's cheaper. But the nice thing... Like we've always said before, if you order from Shout Screen Factory, that they package everything nicely. So, yes, yeah. you may be paying a little bit more, but it's honestly worth it because mm -hmm. they package everything. You're not going to get anything damaged, which yep. is really, really nice. Next up is uh, Carrie from 2013, one of Chloe. Mm -hmm. This has available on the site also. 4K and exclusive poster still available for $35.99. And on Amazon, it has a price tag of thirty nine ninety nine at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's showing no slip. I assume it's going to have a slip since the, I didn't see anywhere it was a site exclusive for any of these. But uh, that's going to be available. We already got our copy in. Mm -hmm. Next up is the Child's Play reboot from 2019. You can get it on the Screen Factory site, 4K. You also, you can get the exclusive poster. Still available. $35.99, and on Amazon, it's $33.99, which is cheaper for some reason. Mm -hmm. But uh, they're both still available. We got both of those in. Mm -hmm. Next up is a movie um, starring Liam Neeson and uh, Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm. We have K-19, The Widowmaker from 2002. We are graciously sent this over from Shout, so we thank you. Yes, thank you again. This is a Site 4K, number 157. On the site is thirty five ninety nine. If you want to get it on Amazon, it's thirty two ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Not showing a slip cover, but I assume it. Welcome. The one we it. got we had a slip cover on it, so. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a pretty good slate. You got the ring, you got Carrie, you got Child's Play, and you got K nineteen, yep. which is a shout select. Good movies coming out this week out of uh, Scream and Shout. I think. Yeah. If you want to see what K nineteen looks like, uh, yes. at the end, if I can. Do more than one link. Uh, you can see our uh, movie haul of the week, yep. and it's in there. Yep. Next up is Kino Lover. We have the Manchurian Candidate 
from 2004 starring Denzel Washington, the 20th anniversary. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Available in 4K for $26.99, and these are all coming from the uh, Kino Lower website, which, right? No, these are Amazon prices. Oh, they're Amazon? Mm -hmm. Well, they're, they're normally the same price on uh, Kino Lower, too. Okay, but I didn't do Kino Regardless Lover. of, uh, it's better to order from Kino Lorber regardless. Yes, but, like uh, we said before. If you want to go on, definitely order from uh, Kino Lorber website. I, that would be my uh, recommendation. Yep. But moving on, guys. Uh, Changing Lanes from 2002 is available in 4K for twenty six ninety nine. This is starring Samuel L. Jackson and Ben Affleck. Not a big fan of this movie back in the day. I don't know why they chose this one. I guess because of the agreement between them and Paramount. Mm. Imagine it'll look good. The movie itself, not so, right. not so good. Then we have a movie called Rent a Cop from 1988. This got Burt Reynolds in it. Hmm. This is available on Blu-ray from nineteen dollars and ninety-eight cents. Mm -hmm. Then we have a movie called Target from 1985. It's going to be available on Blu-ray for seventeen forty-nine. I believe this has Gene Hackman in it. Gene Hackman. Oh, okay then. Then we have a title coming out of Kino Classics, which mm -hmm. is one of their sub-labels. The Soldier's Tale from 1984 is going to be available on Blu-ray for $20.99. Kino Lover has a pretty good slate this week. they got a couple yep. 4Ks and a couple Blu-rays popping out. So uh, I'd have to say the most standout one for me would be the Manchurian Candidate. Mm -hmm. We probably won't be picking this one up. This was kind of like a one-time watch type thing. But if you're a big Denzel fan... And then the, like the, all the political crap. And then by all means, pick this one up. Yep. Right? Next up, we have Arrow. Yep. We have a movie called Dark Water. And this is not the one with Jennifer Connelly. Mm -mm. This is the uh, original from 2002, correct? Yes. Has a site exclusive like normally Arrow normally does. $35. They have a 4K original artwork. Slip reversible sleeve featuring original and new artwork. You have one of their wonderful collector's booklet. You have a 4K slip, Arrow, 35 hours, reversible sleeve featuring original and new artwork collector's booklet. That's available on Arrow. Yes. I cannot find the 4K of this movie on Amazon at all. Hmm. But, but we did find the Blu-ray on Amazon for mm -hmm. $31.99, which you might as well go ahead and get the order from Arrow and get the yeah. 4K. It has a reversible sleeve, featuring the original and the new artwork. Pretty much the same thing, except for the, right. it's not exclusive. But uh, The Blu-ray has the same cover artwork as the 4K slip. Not the original 4K, mm -hmm. but the other one. But next up, we have uh, a movie that's done been released. Sold out pretty damn quick. Yep. Apparently, that's like one of his best movies, apparently. Yep. And I'm talking Harrison Ford. Witness from 1985. We're getting the standard version, which probably be the version I'll pick up because I didn't pick it up. She actually told me to wait on it. Because, because I didn't think it was going to sell I out I like that. Was getting, I didn't think it would be a popular either. No. I had other stuff that I was purchasing that week that was, in my mind, more important. Mm -hmm. But uh, you want this, you missed out on the other one. You got the standard release coming in 4K or $34.99. You got the reversible sleeve featuring original and new artwork. So. As long as you, you still get the movie, you just don't get all of the extra hard box set, the extra swag right. and whatnot. But I mean, mm -hmm. if you're just interested in the movie, by by all means, just get mm -hmm. this. But we do have a Criterion coming this week. Never heard of it. But uh, that's a lot of the Criterion movies I've never heard of them. No. <laughs> Some of the ones they get, I'm, su I'm surprised they actually get. Yeah. But they must have been movies that were really popular it's somewhere in the world, somewhere. I guess. Somewhere. A movie called The Runner from 1984. It's available on Blu-ray for $27.99. DVD for $20.99. This is Amazon prices. Next up is a label called Janus Contemporaries. A sub-label of Criterion. Mm -hmm. And look now, Criterion starting their damn sub-labels. <laughs> a movie called Lynch Oz from 2022 on Blu-ray for $20.99. And DVD for $17.49. Next up out of Universal, we have Suits, the complete series. Nine seasons. So I guess they had to make sure they had plenty of suits to keep changing in and out of during those seasons. <laughs> but <clears throat> let us know if you're excited about these in the uh, <clears throat>
comment. It's going to be available on Blu-ray, the entire series, for $97.99. I guess it makes sense because they're coming out with like a, a sub yeah. uh, TV show from this, like an off. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I watched Suits uh, a few mm -hmm. seasons. Of course you did. It's kind of like a like courtroom. They're didn't, lawyers. Did you dress up in a suit too? No, I didn't. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's the weird of the <laughs> the two of us. You want me to say that one? Yeah, there's another one we got coming. BBC. I could give a shit about it, but uh, Doctor Who fans rejoice. The Daleks in color from Blu-ray. You said it right. Twenty-two dollars and thirty-nine cents. Never cared for the original. I've always beyond stupid. <laughs> I like <laughs> the guy who gets in a phone booth and goes back in time. And he fights these little TARDIS looking retards. And no, TARDIS is the, the whatever, phone booth. The, whatever, <laughs> whatever. That shows how much I know know about this show, guys. I have no desire. I know that the, the original was the most popular. I've heard the newest is complete garbage. The new, garbage. new one is complete, complete garbage. garbage. But uh, let us know in the comments if anybody is interested in the new Doctor Who. You, as you can see, I could care less. I don't know anything about it. Hell, I didn't even get the phone booth correct. <laughs> We're coming out of Sony, and you know you're going to be paying a price for this. We have Cocktail Hour. And this is not the Tom Cruise one. Mm -mm. This is from 1933, available on Blu-ray for $26.98. They have something from 2019. The Act, the complete limited series. One, one season. That's it. Blu-ray, $26.99. DVD, $23.98. This is about that woman who just got out of jail for killing her mother. Hmm. I don't watch many TV shows, so. No. But if you're excited, let us know down yeah. below. We have a movie called Shadow Magic from 2000. It's going to be available on Blu-ray for $26.98. <coughs> Sony needs to uh, lower their prices on the Blu-rays a little bit. Which it's are not so expensive. expensive. Yeah. Next, we have Warner Brothers. We have a movie called Blazing Saddles, which I think is a Mel Brooks film. It is a Mel Brooks film. It's yeah. got uh, Gene Wilder in it. From 1974, it's going to be available on Blu-ray for $16.99. A movie called Appaloosa from 2008. It's available on Blu-ray for $16.99. And a movie from 1968, we have Dracula Has Risen from the Grave. Blu-ray available for $19.98. Next up is a movie coming out of the Cohen Media Group. Driving Madeline from 2022. Blu-ray for $20.99 and is available on DVD also for $13.99. Mm -hmm. And the last title of the week. I told you it's not that much coming out this mm -hmm. week. Not really any big titles other than uh, Shout and Scream. Yeah, other than Shout and Scream. And Kena Lorber, I guess you'd say them too. Yeah. Gravitas Ventures. We have something coming in every week. Movie called Embodied. Well, we're on Blu-ray for $19.99 and DVD for $16.99. Yep. And with that, that's it for uh, episode number seven. Yep. Not too much this week. Mm -mm. I think the big titles for me would be the, uh, the Shout Scream titles. Mm -hmm. Probably a couple of the Kino Lovers, but uh, mm -hmm. Witness, if you did not uh, get that one, but... Uh, no use rambling on this one. This one ran a little bit longer than what I thought it was going to run. <laughs> we didn't have much to talk about, but uh, all the rumors. We had the rumors. We had some announcements. Uh, yep. We even had some rumors that probably nobody gives a damn about. Nope. <laughs> but uh, figure we cover it. Uh, we'll be back on uh, Tuesday with a new video. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, comment, keep subscribing, and uh, we will see you on the next one.